My favourite scientist is Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin really set us on the path to enlightenment as regards to the origins of life. So rather than taking his theories from some ancient scriptures, some ancient knowledge, he looked at the evidence, decided what the evidence said, and said that was the theory based on nothing more than his observations. Darwin went to Edinburgh University to study surgery, couldn't stand it. He thought it was all blood and guts, which it is, and it remains to be so. It's still all about ripping open bodies and looking at all the entrails inside. That is surgery. Darwin couldn't cope with the sight of blood. So he then moved on to study, strangely enough, theology in the view to becoming a priest. However, he was really more interested in botany and it's through chatting with the professor of botany at Cambridge that he was offered the chance to go on a voyage of the Beagle to keep the captain of the Beagle sane. So it turned out into a five-year voyage, Darwin studying the natural history of South America and its islands. And through these observations, he came up with his theory of natural selection, that the qualities that make an animal survive long enough to breed will be passed on to the next generation. And that's really the theory of natural selection leading to evolution. Charles Darwin came at a point when a number of theories were already in progress. There were social scientists like Malthus who realised that people would continue to breed until unsustainable levels and it was actually resources that were holding them back. And Darwin thought, well, that's, that's what happens in nature. That's the warring of the species. There was uh, Sir Charles Lyell that said, very gradual changes in geology result in enormous changes in the structure of the Earth. And he was a close friend of Darwin, and, and Darwin realised that this wasn't just geology that happened, this could be biology as well. About 10, 15 years after Darwin had solidified his theories, there was Alfred Russell Wallace. And Darwin was such a famous scientist, he sent his theory of evolution to Darwin. And Darwin had realised that he had to publish his theory as well. Otherwise, he wouldn't, his theory would be lost and Alfred Russell Wallace would be credited as the inventor of evolution. Darwin was a lovely man. He was very kind to his children. He did uh, lots of experiments on flowers and he played music to worms to see if they'd react. So he was a genuinely nice man. In his first book, he dedicated the book to the Creator, to God. However, later on, he began to question religion more and more until finally he could not cope with believing in both evolution and religion. So people of today that say that Darwin is an arch-atheist, well, he was in his own right. However, he was never confrontational about his view of religion and evolution. He put forward his scientific theory. He wasn't a politician. He wasn't someone that was attempting to control society. All he was was simply a scientist who had observed something and had put his theories out to the general public. <laughs>